Hello, greetings. Today it's all about Ant Max or Gantry. I.e. two engines, two threaded spindles per linear axis. I had already made a video about it. I had already described a few things here. How can this take place and now I thought to myself. I can tell you. Show a little better. That's what I did here. Made a small experimental setup. So say I have. Two motors, two threaded pipes. Your limit switch, although I only need two of them for now. And if we now say, okay, this is our portal. Then it should always run parallel or in reality I will probably manipulate the whole software in such a way. That then just to X axis, if we assume that is Y. But it can also be that the whole thing is crooked and that the referencing then automatically changes this. I'll say again zero position has to evoke again. So I had written that in the video. Now, if your best buddy comes and twists your portal or whatever, and you want to mill again the next day, then the referencing should straighten that out again. Back okay. I have now turned the whole thing into reality. So you can see them here. The small construction end. I have already created a small machine for it. Now I can reference the whole thing. After referencing, I see my normal Cartesian axis, i.e. the Y axis. I can jog them here. And we see that both engines are spinning at the same time. Okay, that's it. I, here is a 7096, and I want to show you. Like you, for example. The whole thing can be set via the PNC conf wizard, so you can at least set up such a basic configuration. There are things to consider and what you might need to change. So I'd say we're doing a new configuration. We call this normal tandem YY. I want a metric machine and I want... Just leave it as it is. And only configure the axes or even the pins. In addition, I have a 7i96s the mash or the card is also the IP address range 10 kit. Charm it, that's why I'm going to type it in right away, and here we go. So I'm going to make the first step generator as main axis X. We use the step generator 0. That's the first one to be X. The second will be the main axis Y, and the third will be the step generator. It now merges into Y as a tandem. So I now have Y2 and the fourth gets EG. At that time I described all my main axes, i.e. X, Y, and Z. Now I want my limit switch. Nothing, that is, I have limits and reference switches in one in the main axis. Y minimum. 
and I have the whole thing again in tandem y2 minimum. Tandem epsilon y minimum. So and now, I'm going to do it. Take a look, I've got those. I have two more limit switches that describe the maximum. That is, only the limit. Here again. Namely limit main axis maximum y. And the 7 would then also be the limit of the tandem axle y2 maximum. So, we've done that before. Here I can. Just 800 registered mail. That's the x-axis. We're less interested in that now. I'm interested. The y-axis. So now we have the y-motor here. Everything I write in here is automatically added to the y2 engine. So, I've got 800 scale. That is, 800 pulses per day. Mem, my axle can only travel 130 millimeters. I'm going into the negative. The Looking for a reference switch, as we have already stated. That the reference switch is also at a minimum. Not in the maximum, i.e. not in the positive. But I'd like that then after referencing. After you find the switch. Is not driven in the same, i.e. negative direction. But in the opposite direction. Okay, I'll go back again. And there are home secrets here. It says 1. Y says 2. And at Z, there will be 0 in it. It says 0 here, because Z is usually referenced first. But we'll see. That still limps a bit, because this PNC configuration picker is of course only. Certain things can and not everything because of that. I only use this to actually create folders and that the files are available. I'll do the rest in the files myself. Okay, we're actually done and can do it now. Start the machine. And if I've done everything right, should be theoretically. Have the machine referenced? So, and we can already see that I now only have the opportunity to. The individual joints. That is, to reference the joints, the motors. Now we actually have the problem. That Y. Reference differently, i.e. not together. The Y engine 1 and 2. They don't ride together. Although I have given the homo sequence, and that is such a shortcoming. I.e. the PNC configuration wizard can't do everything. That's why this differentiates everything individually. But I'll show you how to fix it in a moment. Let's reference the machine first. And then we see that we already have the right way to work with Y. Now it only takes a short moment. Up the machine. In this case, the joint. Three. And the fourth joint is the axis. Something is wrong. We see that he goes beyond the limit button. So I misconfigured something. I'll get the axle back right away, that's fine. In that case, we are on the limit button. That is, I do remove limits. Turn on the machine and shock the third joint into the positive. So, now he's down from it again and I'll take a look. Which I set wrong. Uh, 
that can only be in the limit switches. Specifically. Here's it. I just said why limit and not. That it shares with the home or with the reference switches. So you see, up here I've still used. Limit plus home and not here. This means that the tandem axle gets minimum limit and the home signal. And now it should at least fit. I'm going to click through everything here. We've already posted that earlier by the way. If I now assume that it works now. But still with. Problem that I can't reference everything at the same time. So in the z-axis still referencing and now we see. That we have y. I turn y on times and when I job y now I have the same result. The y-axis can now be adjusted wonderfully. Parallel proceedings. Okay. Now let's clarify that with that. Simultaneous referencing. I'll open the configuration folder. And let's take a look at the INI. That's the file that keeps it parameters. Or, in which we can determine that. We can now tandem here. Why, why? I need to take a look. And I'm going to slow down now. Until I see the axes. So. That the x-axis the x-axis has a joint. So that's joint zero. The first motor so has the y-axis. A joint joint one and a second joint. Joint two. So in the z-axis, in turn, has only one joint. So again an engine. Let's start at the bottom. To add something. That's what we do with every engine. Let's say. Home sequence. Home sequence is equal to zero in this case. I'll copy the order. Or the parameter and now write it down for each engine. And. Also give numbers right away. I'll just say the TY2 motor is the home sequence 2. So the Z motor has the zero first. So, now here comes another engine. Home sequence. And the X engine. Comes the. Home sequence one I save the whole time. Now we see already now I don't have here referencing the individual joints. But now this is a reference partner. That's because I've given each engine a sequencing. That is, now Linux CNC knows. When I press the reference button which motor should reference first. We can look first we'll make the Z. Then the X will do and then our tandem axle. So it's only before Z's turn. Then X and now it's the turn of the tandem axle and now you can see the tandem axle referenced at the same time. So, we'll let you reference. 
After that, let's take a look at the adjusting screw. If I really have to put something wrong now, it may be that the limit switches are not exactly in the same place. So that the portal. Right now and I have to correct something. Then I go and say. In mine. In my INI, I look for the Y axis. That's where I have the first engine and the second mode. If I now say, okay, the first motor should go back a few millimeters after referencing. Because that straightens up my portal correctly, thank you. Then I can say, the home office of this first engine is minus 5 for example. Minus 5 millimeters. Let's take a look at the result. What happens after referencing? So, we see, the first engine has retracted 5 millimeters. I'm exaggerating this again so that we can see it right. 15. So, and now he's gone pretty fast. This can also be influenced, namely this correction, i.e. the speed of the correction. You can give that here and then I'll say, he does that with 0.5. Now let's see how fast 0.5 is. Zero point five is pretty slow. But we see that he is now correcting those fifteen millimeters. After referencing, it now corrects fifty millimeters. And of course this can be done with a large machine. In the tenth range or millimeter range. But the important thing is that he first drives both on the limit switches and then slightly corrects the misalignment. By simply saying, okay, one engine has to go back a tenth before a tenth or the other engine has to go back a millimeter before millimeter. So that the machine always runs straight. If I've programmed something here in the Y. Let's take a look at that. We can also do this again. So, as I said, here the offset would then be the correction. I can do that with the other engine as well. I'll say zero here. I say zero the correction of engine two is now to take place. And that's where I'll just enter. Offset 15. And let's take the speed to 1. 5. So, now the upper engine should go back 15 millimeters after referencing. So we see, the engine one was still on the way. So I can start the referencing again. Then we'll see it right again. Engine one is pre-referenced. Motor two is now referenced and then set to correction. As I said, I've overdone it now. In reality, your machine will only be corrected by a tenth of a degree and mostly drive straight, and not so extremely exaggerated, like I've done now. So you see, if you use the PNC configuration wizard, then you have to enter the home sequence afterwards, in each engine and so set. That Linux 10C knows exactly the order for referencing and then the button here changes to reference path and otherwise you would only have the referencing of the individual ones. 
articulated motors, joints, whatever you want to call it. Okay. We'll take another look anyway. If you have an existing configuration here and want to enter it. Actually, not many things are necessary. So you, as it were, multiple joints and two joints count to one axis. You can also do this with X, for example. Then you say, how many joints do you have? So how many joints in this case do I have four? And then you write behind the kinematics. Okay, I have X, Y, Y, Z and the Y, Y. That means I have another engine. And this is also important. Child type bolts with it. System works in itself. Okay, let's go to the how and see how the whole thing is in the H. So we can already see the configuration wizard has created Pedipity 2. Because, let's drive down to the axles. That's X. And then comes Y and then let's take a look. What's happening here? So we have the PID of Y here. In the end, he gets the link to the step generator to the second, or if you now speak into the index 00, would be the x01 would be y. And we're looking at joint 1 here. Would then be responsible for y, and if I now drive to the tandem axle, then, of course, is a new pit. It's called y2, and it gets its position. From joint 2. So Linux CNC really has two motors. But ultimately, they pursue a goal to form the y-axis. Okay. For the sake of completeness, join 2 is coupled with step generator 0, 2 or the third. And the z-axis gets the fourth step generator and then also the fourth joint, as I said. It always starts with zero. I could also say now. The third joint would be confusing as around. Okay. So important. With existing configurations, you could change this line. You choose how many joints you have and then do you just copy the Y and adjust the values? Important for the Steven Configuration Resort. Easily complements the home sequence in each engine. Then you also have the reference button. Otherwise, this button is not present here. Okay. Then that's it. So the 7i96s can be set to tandem axis Y with the configuration wizard. The only important thing is that in the end in the HAL you have the sequencing process. And if I now apply the step CONF to the configuration again, then this entry is gone again. So you have to add it again and again. Configuration wizard not like that. Tingling it. I tried a few buttons and a few things, but I couldn't get it right. That he also writes in this home sequence. Maybe you need to know how it works. As I said, I have now done it manually because I often get the request. That. The tandem axis doesn't want to work properly, or the referencing only takes place individually, or not together, and if then the portal suddenly is somewhere at the end, and the referencing takes place with only one axis, 
Then, of course, you bent your whole machine relatively quickly. Warped anyway. Okay. Yes, then I'll say thank you for watching. If you don't want to miss the next video, subscribe to the channel. And then I say at this point, thanks to all Patreons that support the channel. If you also want to support, you are welcome to do so on Patreon. Yes, and then I say goodbye until the next video.